Hey everyone, Erica here and I am back with another video for you. So today I am going to be talking about a few of my favorite items that I have just been loving lately. I'm not necessarily calling this a favorites because I kind of have the feeling that these products are going to be a constant favorite that I won't need to update you every month because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this every month. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you about today. So instead of me rambling, let's just jump on into the video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in order of the way I would apply on my face, I guess. So the first thing I'm going to mention to you is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. So it's just foundation and I am in the color uh, 3.0. So this color is a little bit light. I'm sorry, I lost the lid. That's what you're looking at there. Um, it's a little bit light for me, so I do mix a little bit of a darker shade in there just because I bought this and I didn't want to go back to the store because I'm lazy. So that is this guy, and I love it. It's um, I feel like it's a really long-lasting foundation. I'm super oily. That's my skin type. So when I have that on my face, I'm not finding that I need to powder up as often as I would with other foundations. So I've been loving this guy and if you are a subscriber to my channel you know that my tried and true foundation is L'Oreal True Match in the shade W5 and I use that foundation for everything. It's really rare if I use a different foundation but this one was recommended to me so I gave it a shot and I loved it. Moving on, oh my gosh, this is my absolute favorite item that I'm going to be talking to you about today, and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Okay, I'm sure you have heard of this because if you haven't, you are crazy and you've been living under a rock because if you follow a bunch of makeup girls, makeup YouTube gurus like I do, I'm pretty sure everyone has had this for a long time. I'm just slow with it. I guess because I just I don't know what I'm doing that's that's what I look like right there what Zoe was doing this problem like I'm like crazy I don't know what I'm doing so it took me forever to get my hands on this palette but well not a palette I guess just a kit it's a contour kit so I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you instead of just blabbering away so it's a lot smaller than what everyone thinks I'm trying to compare it to something the foundation bottle is like much bigger than the actual contour kit it's small but you guys I'm telling you it is so worth the hype everyone talks about it there's a reason why it is so awesome like I want to sing a song about it like contour kit you brighten up my life where have you been like I don't know maybe not that edition like maybe I'll remake a song but this contour kit you need to get your hands on it if you don't already have it which I'm sure a lot of you do it comes in these six shades um, I really use these four right here this one is a little bit too dark for me and this one is like a like a skin tone but it's a little bit iridescent I want to say yeah it's got some shine to it but holy cow this banana color oh it's giving me life right now I just put a little bit under my eyes even if I don't have concealer on or like any brightener brightener <laughs> brightener under my eye that just does the work for me oh my gosh I love it and I'm actually using it today it's under my you know brighten up my eyes and I did use these two colors I'm like salivating because I'm so obsessed with this palette that is how awesome it is okay I use those two colors to contour my face so Anastasia Beverly Hills you did it again I love this contour kit like I hope they never discontinue it because I need this in my life forever and ever and ever so I really like that in case you didn't know. <laughs> okay, another one of my favorites that I'm going to mention, I just recently bought it and everyone was talking about it. So I was like, ah, I should probably try it. And I'm so glad I did. It's the uh, Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics. It's like this and their packaging is so cute. So it's just a highlighter and it comes in a compact like this. So that is it there. I don't know if you can see that, but oh my gosh, it is the most gorgeous. That's it. It's the most gorgeous illuminating highlight. I don't I hope you're gonna be able to see that. It's the most beautiful highlight ever in the world, and I'm so glad I got my hands on this. I did post a uh, little bit of like a warning, if you will. Uh, I did let you know that hot hot look, hot look was 
selling all the bomb cosmetics for like half off. Uh, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you can go ahead and follow me. Uh, my username is glammonster underscore e. I will leave that in the bottom box below so you can go check me out and follow me. But I do like to let you guys know as often as I can when I find out deals like that so you can get in on them deals. So that is where I got this guy, and I'm so glad I did. I love him. I've been using him a ton. Another thing that I've been really favoring lately is the uh, Smashbox Brow Tech Little Quad. Little Quad? Is it a quad? Well, there's only three. So um, I'm in the color Brunette, and it's for your brows. So it's just a little tiny pot like this, and you take it off. So it comes in three. This one here on the edge is a wax that you put on your brows just to kind of smooth them out. And it comes with two powders. So I, if you've seen, I don't know what video it was, but I did review the powder from the Honest... Anastasia little kit that I got and I did not like those powders. I don't know why I just felt like they didn't do enough coverage for my brows like they just didn't fill them in enough. So this I was super surprised that I loved it. I was willing to give it a shot um, and the powders are just awesome. Like they do such a good job with the like as soon as you place some color on your brows like it just sticks onto there really easy to blend so again it's the Smashbox Brow Tech and Brunette I've been loving this guy and last but not least I am going to shout out yet another Anastasia Beverly Hills product which is the lavish palette I have been loving this palette so much I've been definitely getting my use out of it um, this is it here and I'm you kinda pull it out with a little tab there so these are the colors, and maybe looking at it, you would think, Erica, I'm never going to wear those colors. They're super funky. There's like a green, there's orange, a more burnt orange. But if you would believe me, this color orange soda and this color sienna are my two most used colors in this palette. I've seen a few YouTube gurus make videos using those two colors, and I was hesitant at first, but I'm so obsessed, and I'm so glad I tried them out. This palette is definitely also worth the hype. So if you are interested in getting another palette, I would recommend this one because it's wonderful. So I guess that is it. Those are all my staple products, the products that I've just been super loving. I've been showing them lots of love lately. Um, I hope that this video was a little bit insightful for you. Gets you a little grocery list for you to go ahead and go out and buy yourself some more makeup because we all know you need it, right? We all need more makeup. Okay, uh, I will stop talking now. I love you guys very much, and thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks, guys.